Hello, Story Hour friends. Welcome to our virtual bedtime story. I have a really special book for February. This book is written by Ezra Jack Keats and illustrated by him as well. And the title is The Snowy Day. It's about a little boy named Peter who wakes up on a snowy day and all the adventures he has. It's a fun, fun book and I'm excited for you to join me in reading it. One morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Look, there's Peter in his little red snowsuit. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing like that. It's fun to play in the snow, isn't it? Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. Look at his tracks here. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. That looks like fun, doesn't it? He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. There he is in his bubble bath thinking all about his day. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. He's very upset. He needs a snowball, doesn't he? While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. And that's the end of our story with Peter and his adventures on a snowy day. I'm so glad you joined me.